Thank you for uh, taking the time to come back and view the last and final module eight of our series in reinvention the other side of uncertainty. It's possible that by the time you look at this module, you will have already received a letter and have in fact a date that your job will end with the state of California. That's possible. I want you to consider Rob Summers, the individual that we referenced earlier in our program the young man who at 20 years old, sophomore in college, was destined for a baseball career and was struck by a, a hit and run driver and left paralyzed from the waist down. Um, as he laid there in the street, you know, he was unconscious for a good bit of that time, but ultimately when he came to, realizing that although baseball would not be something in his future, that walking certainly would be. So again, I'm going to tell you that just because these jobs end, your life does not end. I understand the fear that's involved in losing a job, having lost many in my past. I've been laid off as well. Take care of the money. MHN stands ready to take your calls and answer your questions and partner and resource you in any way that you need, as well as the Office of Employee Wellness. They also have a wide variety of rich resources available to help you during a very challenging time. But don't forget your biggest resource, which is you. You are your biggest resource. It may have been a while since you've been in the job market, but being resilient and focusing on reinventing yourself and creating a life that's better than the one you had before is strictly within your control. Take the time to first go and get your notebook and begin documenting some ideas that you have, hopes that you may have had in the past that you abandoned, things that you thought you'd might, you might want to do, but you thought, oh, I can't do that, I can't go back to school, I can't do this, I can't do that, because we need to take the can't away from a lot of those sentences. Those of you that might be counting yourself out because of educational issues or because this is the only job you've ever had, please stop making disparaging remarks about yourself. And please, through the work of your action plan and putting your resume together, pulling your training records together, you can piece together not only a life that's good, but one that really provides value. Because when we're putting goals together and when we're reinventing ourselves, keep some balance in mind, because it's not enough to simply reinvent yourself professionally. You're going to also need to be reinventing personal support systems for yourself as well. Taking care of the body, networking, not isolating, eating properly, uh, getting enough rest, those are all things that are equally as important as doing your action planning. So your notebook, your training records, any information you can get from the state, pull those right away and begin piecing together a resume that really speaks to who you are, that demonstrates the service and the good work that you've done with the state of California over the years as you move forward into what could be the next and greatest chapter of your life. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Thank you for tuning in to each of these eight modules. You've seen me throughout these modules holding various magazines and books. Those resources as well will be on your screen uh, at the end of the film so that you can also get those if you think those would be helpful for you, and many of them are. There's a book called A Full Catastrophic Living, which I think is really wonderful. It's a book that shows you how to make the best out of circumstances that on their face look like the worst things that could ever have happened. So it's up to you. You can create something great or you can continue to perpetuate anxiety, but the choice is yours. So we re recommend and wholly encourage you to reinvent yourself today. Thank you very much and have a good day.